SAP CPI Cloud Platform Integration is a cloud-based integration platform provided by SAP. Here are some interview questions and detailed explanations related to SAP CPI. 1. What is SAP CPI? And what is its role in SAP Landscape? SAP CPI is a cloud-based integration platform that allows users to integrate cloud and on-premise systems with each other. Its role in the SAP landscape is to provide a scalable and flexible platform for integrating various systems, including SAP and non-SAP applications too. What are some of the key features of SAP CPI? Some of the key features of SAP CPI include pre-built integration content, support for various integration protocols and standards, data mapping and transformation capabilities, and the ability to monitor and manage integrations from a centralized console. 3. How does SAP CPI differ from SAP PI PO? SAP CPI differs from SAP PI PO in that it is a cloud-based platform, whereas PI PO is an on-premise solution. CPI also has a simplified user interface and is designed to be more flexible and agile than PI PO. For how do you create a new integration flow in SAP CPI? To create a new integration flow in SAP CPI, you can use the web-based integration designer tool which allows you to drag and drop pre-built integration components and configure them according to your specific requirements. 5. What are some of the different integration patterns supported by SAP CPI? SAP CPI supports various integration patterns, including file-based integration, request response integration, publish subscribe integration, and more. 6. What is an iFlow in SAP CPI? An iFlow in SAP CPI is an integration flow that defines how data is moved between two or more systems. It consists of a series of integration components that are configured to perform specific tasks, such as data transformation or routing. 7. How does SAP CPI ensure the security of integrations? SAP CPI uses various security features, such as SSL encryption, OAuth 2.0 authentication and access control policies, to ensure the security of integrations and protect data privacy. It how do you test an integration flow in SAP CPI? You can test an integration flow in SAP CPI by using the built-in testing framework, which allows you to simulate the flow of data between systems and monitor the results in real-time. 9. What is an SAP CPI content package? An SAP CPI content package is a pre-built integration template that includes a set of integration flows, data mappings, and other components that can be used as a starting point for building new integrations. 10. How do you monitor integrations in SAP CPI? You can monitor integrations in SAP CPI using the web-based monitoring dashboard which provides real-time visibility into the status of integrations and allows you to configure alerts and notifications for specific events or conditions. 11. What is the difference between a sender and a receiver channel in SAP CPI? A sender channel in SAP CPI is responsible for sending data from a source system to the CPI platform, while a receiver channel is responsible for receiving data from the CPI platform and sending it to a target system. 12. What is a message mapping in SAP CPI? A message mapping in SAP CPI is a process that transforms data from one format to another using a set of predefined rules and mapping functions. 13. How does SAP CPI handle error handling and logging? Mm -hmm. SAP CPI provides a centralized error handling and logging mechanism that captures and logs all errors and exceptions that occur during integration. It also provides various tools and dashboards to help users troubleshoot and resolve errors quickly. 14. What are some of the different adapters and connectors supported by SAP CPI? SAP CPI supports various adapters and connectors, including HTTP, SFTP, SOAP, REST, JDBC, JMS, and more. 15. How does SAP CPI handle data transformation and mapping? SAP CPI provides a graphical mapping tool that allows users to define and customize data mapping and transformation logic using drag and drop functionality and various mapping functions. 16. What is a tenant in SAP CPI? 
A tenant in SAP CPI is a logical container that represents a specific customer or organization within the SAP CPI platform. Each tenant has its own set of resources, data, and configurations that are isolated from other tenants. 17. How does SAP CPI handle data security and privacy? SAP CPI provides various security features, including SSL encryption, OAuth 2.0 authentication, and access control policies, to ensure the security and privacy of data. It also provides tools for data masking and anonymization to help users comply with data privacy regulations. 18. What is an integration flow pattern in SAP CPI? An integration flow pattern in SAP CPI is a predefined template that includes a set of integration components and configurations that can be used as a starting point for building new integrations. 19. How does SAP CPI handle API management and governance? SAP CPI provides an API management and governance platform that allows users to design, publish, and manage APIs securely and efficiently. It also provides tools for monitoring and analyzing API usage and performance. 20. What are some of the benefits of using SAP CPI for integration? Some of the benefits of using SAP CPI for integration include faster time to value, reduced development and maintenance costs, increased flexibility and scalability and improved data quality and accuracy 21 what is a message filter in sap cpi a message filter in sap cpi is a mechanism that allows users to selectively filter and route messages based on certain criteria such as message content sender receiver and more 22 how does sap cpi handle message queuing and throttling SAP CPI provides a built-in message queuing mechanism that allows users to queue and throttle messages based on certain criteria, such as message priority, size, and volume. This helps ensure that messages are processed in a timely and efficient manner. 23. What is an iFlow in SAP CPI? An iFlow in SAP CPI is a visual representation of an integration flow that shows the various components and configurations of an integration such as message endpoints, transformations, mappings, and more. 24. How does SAP CPI handle data synchronization and replication? SAP CPI provides various tools and adapters that allow users to synchronize and replicate data between different systems and applications, such as databases, ERP systems, and cloud services. 25. What is a sender agreement in SAP CPI? A sender agreement in SAP CPI is a configuration that defines the communication parameters and settings for a sender channel, such as message protocol, endpoint URL, and authentication credentials. 26. How does SAP CPI handle data validation and enrichment? SAP CPI provides various tools and functions that allow users to validate and enrich data as it flows through the integration pipeline, such as data mapping message validation and lookup functions 27 what is a receiver agreement in sap cpi a receiver agreement in sap cpi is a configuration that defines the communication parameters and settings for a receiver channel such as message protocol endpoint url and authentication credentials 28 how does sap cpi handle message routing and orchestration SAP CPI provides a powerful message routing and orchestration engine that allows users to define complex message routing and processing logic based on various criteria, such as message content, sender, receiver, and more. 29. What is a message processor in SAP CPI? A message processor in SAP CPI is a component that is responsible for processing and transforming messages as they flow through the integration pipeline. Message processors can include message routers, transformers, filters, and more. 30. How does SAP CPI handle data integration and synchronization between on-premise and cloud systems? SAP CPI provides various adapters and connectors that allow users to integrate and synchronize data between on-premise and cloud systems, such as ERP systems, databases, and cloud services. It also provides tools and features to ensure data security and compliance with data privacy regulations. 31. What is a message endpoint in SAP CPI? 
a message endpoint in SAP CPI is a destination or source for messages, such as an HTTP endpoint, email server, or cloud service 32. How does SAP CPI handle data mapping and transformation? SAP CPI provides a visual data mapping tool that allows users to map and transform data between different message formats and data structures. It also provides various functions and scripting options for more complex data transformations. 33. What is a mapping program in SAP CPI? A mapping program in SAP CPI is a custom program that can be used to transform and manipulate data in various ways such as mapping data between different message formats, performing calculations, and more. 34. How does SAP CPI handle message encryption and security? SAP CPI provides various encryption and security mechanisms to ensure that messages are transmitted securely and data is protected against unauthorized access. It also supports various industry standard security protocols and certifications. 35. What is a message flow in SAP CPI? A message flow in SAP CPI is a sequence of message processing steps that define how messages are routed transformed, and processed as they flow through the integration pipeline. 36. How does SAP CPI handle error handling and retry mechanisms? SAP CPI provides various error handling and retry mechanisms to ensure that messages are processed successfully even in the case of errors or failures. It also provides tools and features for monitoring and analyzing integration errors and performance. 37. What is a process director adapter in SAP CPI? A process director adapter in SAP CPI is an adapter that allows users to integrate and synchronize data between different systems using direct communication protocols, such as SOAP, REST, or JDBC, such as SOAP, REST, or JDBC, such as